I'm down to installing the last plug wire on the 56 here. And uh, what we started with was universal plug wires, which means we actually had to lay them in there, measure them to length, cut the ends off, and then crimp a new end on there. I've already laid this one in there and measured it, so now I'm just ready to crimp a new end on. So what I'm going to do is very, very carefully, so you don't cut into that conductor, take my wire stripper and pull, that, pull the end off to expose the conductor. And then there's a little bit of fuzzies there that we're just going to take a razor blade here and trim off. So now I've got our conductor exposed. We fold that over, take our end. We'll use my strippers to start it. And then what I'm going to use is a ratchet and crimp tool. This is a handy tool to have in your, in your toolbox. Um, it, you can set it, it gives you a lot more torque, it gives you a very, very precise setting on any crimps that you're making. So what we'll do is we'll set that in here. And we can ratchet that down. Now we've got a nice crimp on the end of that wire. So now we take the boot, spray it with a little, I'm using an electronic cleaner, um, silicone spray would work. You can use dielectric grease on the boots if you need to. But we're just going to spray that a little bit, get it to slide over. Make sure that, that the plug wire end comes all the way into the end of the boot and I can see it in there. So this is actually ready to install. Now one of the things you need to check, double check, even triple check, is the firing order of the engine. Uh, every engine is different, so you need to check the manual, check the internet, check wherever you got to check to find the right firing order. Sometimes if you're not using a, an aftermarket intake, the firing order will be stamped right on the intake. But make sure you get the firing order right, because that will really mess you up when you go to try and start it. And speaking of trying to start it, I'm going to install this. I'm going to go find George, and we're going to try and start this baby. Now one of the reasons we went with the universal kit is so we could cut them to fit so there wasn't extra ones because you can buy plug wires specific to a 350 engine but they're going to be a little bit long here and a little bit short here so you're not going to get a nice perfect tight clean fit in here and we wanted this to look really nice when we got done. So there's also we're using standoffs here off the valve covers to hold it out away from the headers and we're using little clips to hold these these wires together down inside the down next to the valve cover. I'm going to go ahead and snap this one on and we're going to all right, I think we're ready. I'm going to find George and we're going to see if we can't start this baby up.